Hi guys, welcome to Prophetic Dance and Flags. So with our earlier teaching, I had taught you about the purpose and the significance of the flags. Today we're going to talk about the symbolism of the colors of the Bible. We're going to talk about the colors and how they're significant. And this is going to make it so you'll be able to pick out your flags for your worship and your praise dances and also give you a deeper revelation and understanding of what colors to use and also to explain to you what you are proclaiming in the heavenlies. So the first color we're going to talk about today is amber. And with this color, it means the glory of God, the honor, and also the, his flaming throne. And with this, we think about uh, in scripture, it talks about when there was a great cloud with fire and the center of it was gleaming like amber. See scripture, Ezekiel 1 verses 27 and also Ezekiel 1 verse 4. The next color is gold. And this color represents victory. So it represents our victories that we have in God. It represents wealth, which means that it means his provision. It means that he is our provider and also his kingship, which means he is our king of kings. And also when we think about scripture, there's one scripture that states his mercy seat was made of pure gold. See Exodus 37 verse 6 and Revelations 1, 12 through 13. The next color we're going to talk about is silver, which is the word of God, his wisdom, and his strength. So again, when we think about this color, we think about when it, in scripture it talks about his word being it sharper than any two-edged sword. And also the words of the Lord are pure words like silver refined. See Psalms 12 verse 6 in 1 Chronicles 28 verse 14 through 16. The next color is aqua and this color means river of God, refreshing rain of the Holy Spirit. And when we think about this color we think of the mighty rivers of God and when we raise this color and when we have it as a flag, we're asking God to flow through us and also to send his mighty rivers through the congregation and to pour his rain upon us, which is his blessings. The next color is white, which means purity, holiness, faith, angels, and peace. So when we think about this color, we think about when God said, I am holy, therefore you be holy. And we think about when a scripture talks about, and they will be white as snow. And also when Mary Magdalene, when she went into the tomb, that she saw the two angels dressed in white. So see Isaiah 1 verse 18. And also John 20, verses 12. The next color after that is pearlescent white. And pearlescent white, this actually means the cloud of the moving presence of God. And also the wind of the Holy Spirit and the dove. So when we think about this color, we think about the, the cloud and also in Exodus when the children of Israel, when they had to follow the presence of God, it was, it was like a cloud and a, a moving presence. And we also think about the dove. When we think about when the dove came and descended down upon Jesus. And also the 12 gates, which were the 12, the 12 pearls. And this is John 1, 32 through 33, and Revelations 21, 21, verses 21. The next one is iridescent crystal, which is the bride of Christ, the blessings of God, and is overcoming. 
So in this, this is stating that we're proclaiming in the end times about the bride of Christ and that the Christ is going to be looking for his bride in these end times. And it also talks about the holy city being bright like crystal. See Revelations 21 verses 11. The next color is red, and red is the blood of Jesus, his love, redemption, and consuming fire. So when we think about red, we think about the power and the, the power of the blood of Jesus and also the atonement that he made for us with his blood and the redemptive blood and also about the all-consuming fire that consumes all darkness. And that this blood, that, that it comes in power. See Leviticus 17, verse 11, and Hebrews 9, 12 through 14. The next color is burgundy, which means the cup of the new covenant, the new wine, and surrender. When you think about this, we think about scripture that says, Jesus said, this cup is the new covenant established by my blood. See Corinthians 11 verse 25. The next is orange, which means the fruit of the spirit, harvest, fire of God, warfare, and praise. And when we think about this code, we think about how bright it is. We think about how it's related to the, to the fall and also with the harvest. And it is significant in the Bible because it does talk about the harvest and also it talks about the wheat, which is significance with this color and also the mighty fire of God. So when we look into a flame, we see the different colors and, and we think about the orange that we see. So it's so it talks about the mighty fire. And also when we raise this flag, it's a signal and what it means is that it's a signal that states we are ready to battle in the heavenlies. The next color is yellow, which means light, joy, and celebration. The first thing that comes to my mind with this color is, of course, the sun. And how bright, how beautiful and glorious it is. And, how glo and it just brings me back to how glorious the, the light of the Lord is and His glory. And so scripture stated, and the redeemed of the Lord will return and come crowned with joy. See Isaiah 51, 11 for this. The next color is green, which means cleansing and healing, life, prosperity, and restoration. When we think about this color, we think about how God is cleansing his people from impurities and that he's also bringing his resurrection life and just bringing just a mass of healing and prosperity and restoration. And in scripture, it talks about flourishing, like a flourishing olive tree. And also, they will bear fruit healthy and green. See Psalms 52 verse 8 and Psalms 92 verse 14 for this. The next color is blue, and this is our navy blue color, which means heaven, Holy Spirit, blessings, and provision. And so the first thing that comes to mind with this color is, of course, the sky. We always know how the sky is just a beautiful blue color, and, and it also represents um, the, the, with the Holy Spirit. So when we're waving this flag, we're actually ushering in the Holy Spirit to come into the sanctuary and also inviting the blessings of God. And also this in scripture, it states the shape of the throne was with the appearance of sapphire. So in Ezekiel, this is what he was experiencing in his vision. The next color after that is light blue. And with this color, it means healing and water. 
And when I think about this color, it me I think about when the leper was by the pool and when he was waiting on someone to put him in the pool and he was healed and the, and the Lord healed him and the Lord said, arise and walk. See John 5 verses 7. The next color is purple, which means royalty, king, majesty, authority, and power. And with this color, it is powerful and it's significant in the Bible. And it talks about when the linen ephod was worn, that it had purple and gold and blue, but that purple was one of the powerful colors. And when we think about this color, we think about the kingship and the majesty of our Lord. And also it represents the authority. So it shows that when we raise this flag, we're proclaiming that we have authority in the heavenlies. See Exodus 28 verses 8. The next color is pink, which represents the bridegroom's heart and his faithfulness. And with this, we always think about pink being a girly color. But with this, it's actually representing his heart towards us and his faithfulness and his faithful love. See Psalms 18 verse 25 and Psalms 26 verse 3. The next one I'm going to talk about is very important. Uh, and it's very significant because it actually has all of the colors of the rainbow. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. They're all together. And with all the colors being combined, this actually represents God's promises and also the favor of the Lord. And so in scripture, it's stated about the appearance of a brilliant light all around that looked like a rainbow. And this was the appearance of the Lord's glory. This is what Ezekiel was seeing also in his vision. And also when we raise this color in our flags and in our ministries, we're proclaiming his promises are yes and amen. See Ezekiel 1 verse 28. The next color is brown, which means man and earth. And again, this color is not used a lot, but it can be used in your prophetic ministries and also your dance and also skits. And with this scripture stated that God called the dry land earth. And we also think about that with us, that he created us from the earth and that he brought us into creation. See Genesis 1 verse 10. The last color I'm going to talk about today is black, which means darkness, sin, evil, and affliction. And again, this color is not used a lot, but it is a very powerful color because it does. It talks about black representing the sin, the, the sin of, of the earth and also the, the evil that's in the earth and the afflictions that we suffer. But it also talks about God's shadow and it talks about his cloud being like a cloud of darkness. See Lamentations 4 verse 8, Jeremiah 8 verse 21, Psalms 18 verse 11, and Revelation 6 verse 5. So again guys, these were just some of the basics and I wanted to give you the basics of what the colors meant. And this is also to help you with your dances in your prophetic ministries. So again, I hope that this has really blessed you. And I hope that it helps you and gives you a deeper revelation of the flags that you're choosing and also with your ministries. So again, guys, just keep worshiping and also praising God. And God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye. <music>